As the European Space Agency's first British astronaut, Tim Peake is about to make history by traveling to the International Space Station. Having logged over 3,000 flying hours during 17 years with the British Army, he's used to pushing the limits of endurance and technical expertise. Now he faces the ultimate challenge, a long duration stay in orbit. He's had to learn a whole new set of complex skills to prepare him for the mission ahead. I do prefer the sort of hands-on uh, manual tasks such as the robotics and the EVA. I've loved learning about the scientific payloads on board the space station and some of the human physiology experiments we'll be doing are very interesting and I'm really looking forward to perform them as well. Peak was chosen for ESA's astronaut corps in 2009, beating over 8,000 other applicants to become one of six new recruits. After basic training, he embarked upon a program designed to prepare him for the extreme isolation of space, spending time living in a lab beneath the ocean and in this underground cave system in Sardinia. He also learnt survival skills in the Russian wilderness, essential in the event that his Soyuz vehicle lands far from rescue. For the upcoming mission, Peak has spent many months training with the space station's international partners moving between Mission Russia, control. Canada, Japan, yes, uh, the United States and Europe. I think some of the good surprises have been just working with international partners and of course all the time I've spent in Europe and Europe we are obviously made up of all the member states so just being and working with an ESA you're working with partners from other countries and embracing different cultures as well so I think that's been one of the highlights of, of my time as an astronaut. In orbit, there's a huge range of day-to-day -day tasks and operations to perform. At the international centers, simulators are used to recreate various elements of the mission, such as ESA's neutral buoyancy facility in Cologne, where astronauts can practice working outside the station in microgravity. From routine maintenance to emergencies, Peak has learned to anticipate every situation which may occur during spaceflight, an approach which echoes that of his former career. Aviation is a very dynamic environment as well, and you just always have to stay flexible. The plan will invariably change several times before you actually execute it. And I think that's an art, is just learning how to relax and accept that and plan for the different eventualities that may happen. After years of experience at the controls of aircraft, Tim Beak is about to face the most challenging flight of his career. One that will carry him 400 kilometers above the Earth to begin his new life as an ESA astronaut.